We will celebrate Earth Day tomorrow. Today, UCSB received an early honor for being green. News Channel 3's Senator De Los Santos explains how the university made it happen. If the breathtaking ocean view isn't enough to rave about the campus at UCSB, how about this? Princeton Reviews came out with the list of the top 50 green colleges, and UCSB came in as the third greenest campus in the nation. Really uh, happy and uh, surprised to see us so far up. Actually, UCSB is higher than that. The two colleges ahead of the university in the rankings are private schools, making UCSB the number one ranked public university in the country. How, you ask? UCSB has done a lot to go green. Last year, the university reduced portable water use by 21% in response to the drought. Our campus irrigation is 90% of it's with recycled water. We've done retrofits in our restrooms. Our campus dining commons went trayless. That saved over 1 million gallons of water. Let's repeat. There's no trays in any campus dining halls, meaning they save tons of water in washing those trays as well as saving a great amount of food waste. We have a goal of 100% um, diversion in our waste by 2020, and right now we're at 71%, so trayless dining helped in that a lot. Around campus, you'll notice three types of bins, one for recycling, one for compost, and one for waste. Now let's talk energy. This uh, array over here, this is the, uh, the North Array, it has about 900 modules. Last year, UCSB saved over 100 million kilowatts of energy through LED lights, as well as the solar panels that were installed last year, providing renewable energy. That's about 110, 120 homes, typical uh, Southern California homes worth of electricity. So it's a, it's a big producer. And if you haven't noticed, over 90% of UCSB students use alternative transportation, cycling their way to the greenest university on the planet. Senator Los Santos, News Channel 3.